Look at this car. It's time. What's time? To go to Nike. Nike day! <laughs> Today's a big day. A very big day. We are heading to Beaverton, Oregon. To go see Nike headquarters. Why? It's gonna be awesome. They invited me with a bunch of kids my age to go and look at their headquarters and I get to custom design my shoe and I'm super excited. Custom design his own shoe. But along with other things, they have a lot of surprises in store that they didn't tell us. I'm hoping that we meet some athletes, like some actual athletes. It's gonna be amazing, like, I love Nike. Like, I wear Nike almost every single day. There's certain brands that we would love to work with. It's like on the dream bucket list. And Nike is one of them. They are sending us up there. We're super excited. Today's the day where we travel up there. We go to our hotel, we go to dinner tonight and they kind of just tell us what's going on. And then tomorrow is some awesome stuff. We have a basketball game. Portland Trailblazers. And then the next day we get to do some other stuff, like I think a shoe design thing that Lincoln was talking about. It's pretty rad, it's pretty special. So we are for sure taking you guys along with us. We're gonna vlog like every single day. Like, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be awesome. You're in charge of the camera, you vlog it. Hi, this is my version of vlogging. Good job, buddy. Wow. He hasn't gone in a while. The pilot likes it. Yep, looking good. Good job going pee pee. Hope that's not our plane. Oh, yep, there's the pee pee's. Oh, all done. You're done. What the heck? This day is already awesome. I thought Nike was gonna be the coolest thing today. The airplane going pee pee was the coolest so far. That one's going pee pee too. What is this? Is it National Airplane Pee Pee Day? Let's go. Let's get out of here. Good, set. Well, the camera looks dirty. Yeah. There's mud on it from cleaning up that Nickelodeon slime. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure to welcome you to Portland. Portland is known for their ugly carpet. What do you think about it? Do you think it's ugly or do you actually like it? I don't know. That's what they're known for? Yeah. It's so beautiful and green. Okay, just run up and pop oh, the balloon. Oh, we found our place. Welcome to, welcome to Portland. Welcome to uh, Portland. Thank you, Nike, for the warm welcome. I mean, the weather's not warm, but the <laughs> people are warm. I was hoping to write a Sam, Gordon. I wanted to talk to her all about stuff. So that's the first person. She was on the plane. I don't think we really filmed her. She's a huge BYU football fan. I remember seeing her a few years ago when she's actually like a running back for a tackle football and she's a girl and she tears it up. That's really cool. That's the first person we've met that are other youth influencers. They've invited kids between the age, I think like 10 and 14 or something like that. Kids that are youth influencers from around the world. I'm 10, I'm 11, so. You would become a pro at golfing in the rain if you lived here. I bet the summer's beautiful though. Tallest building in Oregon, Lincoln. We need to go run it. What? I've never done it. I don't know. I don't know. You could look it up, but I've never done it. How's this place for fancy? Look at these cameras on the wall. Oh. It's your ancestor's camera. <laughs> this camera's ancestor. Bad joke. Okay, so I just went and peeked at the room, and then I hurried and shut the door again. If you didn't know by now, we're here with Nike and we are about to uh, make that branded message come home in a second. Here we go. I haven't looked up yet. Oh, look her up. Go for it. Wah! Wah! <laughs> <laughs> They've bought us clothes for every single day. I don't even need this. <laughs> Mine came with the package. Whoa, look at this. Dude, shoes 
Air Max Zeros that are awesome looking. Awesome looking. Warm up shirt, warm up pants, hoodie. Whoa. Another hoodie. Another hoodie. Look at this hat. That hoodie is sweet. Oh. Oh. It's hey, so nice. Hey, you want one too. Oh, <laughs> dang. Kiss my ears. I Kiss saw this. Ears. I saw this on the very corner. I saw the mat and this, so I was like, Nike stuff is gonna be. What else? Juicy, oh, dried mangoes. I'm from the Philippines. Yeah. Treats. Wow. Oh, a nice little book that has Lincoln's name on it. It's my, what is this? <laughs> a bag. A bag. It has my name What's on this? it. Kiss my ears. So what are they? What are they referring to when they say Air? Nike Air. This thing. Yes. This thing. Wha okay. So it is the I think 30th anniversary of the Nike Air Max being released, which was the first shoe that ever had the window inside of the sole. And so Air is a big thing for Nike, like Look Nike Air. Look. What is it? Maybe an envelope. It says Lincoln Markham on it with Nike what? on the back. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I thought the red balloon was cool, but. I know! <laughs> Welcome to Portland, the city of roses and home of the swoosh. Swoosh, swoosh. The next few days will be a whirlwind journey to create your Nike story. We will, we will explore Nike's history and learn about the coolest innovation, Nike Air. Best of all, you will create your own version of Nike Air Max, Nike Air Max in Nike's top secret design studio. Whoa, let's go! Buckle up and sharpen your pencils. The next chapter of Nike Air is up to you. Dude, this is amazing. This is ridiculous. Yeah. All right, check out his shoes. It says Lincoln on it. Imagine air on the other side. All right, play cool music. Here we go. The unveiling. Lincoln. Boom! There he is. There's the Nike boy. He doesn't have. Why do you wear glasses? There's a saying that says, "Keep Portland weird." That guy embodies that. You want to wear that hat the whole time, but nope. It's haircut time. Haircut. Looking good, right? Nice it's and good. So good, like look at mine. Oh wow, you look good, Lincoln. <laughs> let's yep. see it. Take off your take off your hat thing. Come on, let's see it. Let's see how much better it looks. <laughs> okay, that's Lincoln's haircut. We don't have to be to dinner for two hours, and so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go pick up Sam, who I was telling you about earlier that she like plays football, tackle football as a running back and she kills it. I remember her because she was a BYU fan and her dad is a BYU fan and like she got her inspiration from a football player named Luke Staley that's a BYU guy and we of course love BYU football. So we're gonna pick them up and go get voodoo donuts because that's what all athletes do is they eat donuts. I'm an athlete and I eat donuts. Now I'm in the front seat, because we've got our friends in the back seat. In the front seat, in the back seat. Hey, what's up guys? Hi. So it turns out that going to Nike headquarters, she's been there before, like many times, a few times. So that's good, it'll be good to have somebody to show us around. So I first saw you, I was trying to explain to them earlier, like your story a little bit. And I, one of the things I remember is, I remember you at like the Super Bowl with the NFL commissioner, is that right? Or yeah. is it? Yeah. That's cool. I've gotten to meet the entire U.S. Women's National Team, practice Whoa. with the 49ers, the wow. Wheaties box. It's a lot of fun things. <laughs> a Wheaties box. That's like a dream come true. This is going to be a fun weekend. Weekend. It feels like the weekend. It's going to be a fun couple of days. We have a lot more friends to get to meet, but at least we have some fellow BYU fans to hang out with yes. <laughs> on this trip. <laughs> the important thing is, what do all good young athletes do? They eat donuts. All right, donuts. Oh, cool. What do you think, bud? Oh. How's that look? Yeah, look, cereal on top of there. Okay, look at that. Okay. Oreo bits. Yes, that's good. Oreo, that's what I had <laughs> in California. Look at that <laughs> What? It's like they a cat? Some new a foot? <laughs> I don't know. Something. Miami Viceberry. I like to get the ones that have like the jelly food and stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, pretty good. So when you stab, look at this guy. There's blood. <laughs> you stab it and blood comes out. Why'd yes. you get that one? Uh, because I felt voodoo donuts. You should probably get the voodoo donut. That is a good call. 
It's cold outside. Like it, it's chilly to your bones. Check out this guy's camera. That's legit. All right, buddy, what's going on? We're almost there, I think. Walking in the rain. Yeah. One of the guys told us, don't use an umbrella. You're not supposed to use an umbrella in Portland. You're, like, you're not cool if you use, don't use an umbrella. So the camera's been getting rained on, and we got these people with cameras taking pictures. It feels like we have paparazzi, but I'm pretty sure they're just hired by Nike to take pictures of the event. All right, we are uh, almost done with dinner. It's been good. No, 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 we're not almost done. We're almost done. Dinner. We still got some more. We still got, we're right here. We still have one more. One, two, three, four, five more. We're six in, we'll need five more. Okay, so. I'm already full, so. <laughs> I'm done with dinner. Our friends from Beijing brought us these awesome shirts. It's the city of Beijing with the Nike logo, with the river. That is cool. Ah, it's actually here, Beijing. <laughs> Thank you for the shirt. You guys are great. We used to have the team from China here. They just flew in like a few hours ago and they're super tired. So they just went to go to sleep. Tomorrow was a super long day. And so uh, we get all their dessert. There it is. See? We got it. Lincoln doesn't eat coconut. So I get it. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want an umbrella? Yeah. All right, we're back at the hotel. How was it, guys? How was the good. dinner? It was delicious. What's better, um, Voodoo Donuts or the macaroon dessert at that oh place? Oh, I would have to say Voodoo Donuts just because coconut isn't really my, like, strong. <laughs> it was close. Taste. It's pretty close. I can't even say because they were good. So are you guys going to go running tomorrow in the cold and rain? Yes. Both of you together? Yeah, it's 6.30. You guys Somebody are awesome. Somebody told us there's a river down there, so. Sam's excited to go like exploring, so. Let's get in. Sam is an athlete. She is awesome. Yeah. So we're gonna put a link to some of the videos of hers that she does so you guys can watch it because it's pretty amazing. It's really inspiring to see a girl break barriers and do those awesome things, so. Yeah. This is where Lincoln's night ends. Right here, say good night to everybody. Good night, everybody. Get ready for an awesome day at Nike tomorrow, bud. This is this is where my where tomorrow begins too. That is where tomorrow begins, unless you sleepwalk and you fall asleep in the bathtub. Yeah, it could happen. Night. You need to go edit. Yep. Okay, so we've just said good night to Lincoln. Now I'm coming down to this awesome lobby, trying to find a place that I can work and edit and get stuff done because we're going to be releasing a video tomorrow morning. That's a video with Nickelodeon and Verizon. So. Um, that's gonna be cool, but I've got to finish up a few things with it and edit. It's like YouTuber life. Like I gotta edit some stuff, work. Um, it's super fun, and I can't wait till tomorrow. It's a full day, so get ready for this next vlog. It starts at nine in the morning. We're gonna get a tour of Nike, going places that even employees don't get to go. Some of the stuff we can't film, but they said about 99% of the stuff we can film. I threw a little clip in earlier about an athlete. There's like an athlete that came to dinner, a Philadelphia 76ers basketball player. That was cool. Tomorrow I would imagine we're gonna see some other athletes. I really think that's gonna happen. And then we're also going to meet Tinker Hatfield. And then we're going to a Portland Trailblazers game tomorrow. So what I'm thinking is it's gonna be like a 40 minute vlog tomorrow. Get ready for the fun Nike Beaverton, 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 Beaverton. Yes, Beaverton, Oregon is where their headquarters is, but they wanted us to stay in Portland because they have awesome hotels here and good food. Makes sense. I would say this is awesome. Like, do they have this guy looking at you in Beaverton? Probably not. So yeah, I'm glad that I'm here so I can have nightmares about that guy. 